There's just something about <laughs> turkey hunting that I absolutely love. To see these birds come in and be completely fooled by your setup, to me it's incredible. So when I had to pick my two best hunts, well that was difficult, but you know what, when it comes right down to it, Nebraska and Illinois are some of my favorite states to turkey hunt, and that's exactly where we're headed. Well, I just got in at the roost. I'm gonna shoot my gun. I like to shoot it when I get here. I'm gonna be shooting three and a half inch five shot. And I've actually got the magnum loads for this hunt. So I'm pretty excited to put them to use. I've been shooting it. It's been patterning just awesome all season. But I do have a red dot on it. So just like with the scope, I like to shoot it when I get here. So this is about 30 yards. I'll shoot here and then I might do one a little further too. I had just incredible luck on the long range stuff. But um, it's always nice just to make sure you're all locked in. That way, you're set for the entire hunt. Well, I would say that is a perfect pattern. We're all set up. All we got to do now is uh, get our stuff ready, and we can head out looking pretty good. up right here by this tree in this tank. I don't think we can get all the way across the draw. They're still coming. Well, as we were going, we heard one, we got set up, and all of a sudden, it just kept getting closer and closer, and we didn't have anywhere to go. We saw a big tank that was there, and we went right up next to it. Now, ideally, we wanted to get all the way across and get set up with some more cover, but we didn't have time. They just come in, come in, and all of a sudden Jeremy said, I don't think they're gonna get any closer, you better shoot. And I looked and almost all their heads seemed to be get together, so I was trying to wait till they'd spread out, and he said, the left one's on its own, so I just swung over. Took the shot and made a great shot, put it right down. It was so awesome. We had all three of them come running in. The one had a messed up fan, the strutter did out of the group, but it was, I was gonna shoot him, but both their heads were right by each other. There was no other options. And Jeremy said, get the one on the left. So I switched over, made a good shot on the one on the left. That was so cool. We called them in all the way from that other hill. We've got Jake's coming in behind us again. One of the battles around here, there's so many turkeys that you gotta get the long beards in before the Jake's come in. So just been a fun morning. We've been doing a bunch of different setups right now. It's just starting to rain. And now the nice part is we get to go have a little break and take lunch. So I'm gonna go check out this bird. That was so cool. So it's kind of like a surprise one. This is the only one that wasn't strutting. We don't know what we got. It's uh, mystery there's gift. There's a few feathers here. Oh, Not bad. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Wow. All now right. two out of three had a messed up fan. And, Ooh, got and I got the, the good nice. one. You got the good one. Look at that. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. You can do it. Repeat after me. The Winchester Repeating Arms, worth repeating. had a lot of great turkey hunts over the years, but one of the things that I believe has really made me a better turkey hunter is putting in the time at the range. And you need to know what your gun is capable of and what you're capable of. So putting that time in at the range, it's huge and can truly make the difference once you get out in the field. Now today I'm gonna work on getting all my guns all sighted in. Now what I have 
So my turkey gun, I've got a 12 gauge, three and a half inch shells I'm gonna be using in five shot. Now I've got the Longbeard XR, and what I'm gonna actually test out today is seeing exactly what my patterns look like at different distances. Now this is 20 yards, you can see, great. Now this is 30 yards. This is all with the 12 gauge, three and a half inch five shot, the Longbeard XR. Not until 40 did I even move up just a little bit, just to keep that pattern where I want it. Now this is 50 yards. This is what most people would consider basically the end of their kill zone. The Longbeard XR, doing amazing. You've got all these pellets at 50 yards, absolutely incredible. Let's say you don't have a ton of time to keep going to the range and trying new combinations. Winchester also created the Pattern Board app where you can go in, you can use different choke gun ammo combinations and test it out. You can see what would happen as if you were at the range. So you can go to this app, you can learn about your best options, or you can just do it because you're interested or you're bored in the field. It's a great way to make different changes to see what would work best with your setup. Now that we're all set on gear, well, I'm headed to Illinois and the weather is not exactly cooperating. But the good news is, I know this area is loaded up on turkeys and I'm confident they'll be here eventually. It wasn't supposed to rain at all, but for whatever reason, it's been raining. Right now, it's all starting to finally clear off, and it looks like the clouds are gonna break. Now, I don't know what it's gonna do to the turkeys, but we haven't heard any gobbles this morning. Now, I know there were at least two long beards here on this field last night, so I don't know what the weather's gonna do, but we've got our flock of Dave Smith decoys set up out front. Usually, the turkeys are coming on either the path to our left or the path to our right. Usually, they'll come to this field about 8, 9 a.m., but hard to say what's going to happen today so pork chop and I we're just going to sit it out see what happens and so far she hasn't called in any turkeys she hasn't scared any either <laughs> big gobbler just starts coming in and I knew we were set. We had our decoys out in front and it didn't take long and this big old gobbler just kept coming and coming and coming. And I get so excited when these turkeys put on a show. I absolutely love it. They're strutting around, you've got them completely fooled and I just kept letting them get closer. the size of this turkey. My goodness, look at the spurs. Wow, what a beautiful bird. Nice big eastern. 
I think what I love the most are these huge fans. He came in just full strut the whole time. Hardly ever went out of strut. Just awesome. Nice, big, thick beard. Obviously a nice, mature turkey. Look at the size of these spurs. Very nice. It is awesome. I love coming out to Illinois. I come here deer hunting, turkey hunting. I'm out at Golden Triangle and this has been such a fun hunt. We've got some beautiful birds, had so much fun, sat around the trailer, planted food plots, having fun with pork chop. It's just, this is what turkey hunting's all about. And honestly, I don't think there's a better way I could have ended it. Pork chop, come here. Oh, I see how it is. Feathers are more important than mom. That's a puppy for you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>